Deftones, Passenger, Guitar Lesson, and Guitar Tab. Let's jam through all the sections really quick. Afterwards, I'll give an in-depth explanation. Please go ahead and subscribe. I got a ton of Deftones stuff coming out, and you don't want to miss it. All right, let's get into this. <laughs> Okay, so right up front, we're in a drop C tuning. So we got C, G, C, F, A, D. Okay, so basically the drop D and we just take it a whole step further there. Okay, and this initial riff, we're just kind of working through this scale down here between the, the low C and the middle C. So we'll start here at the fourth fret for this E note, and it's kind of based around an E minor chord. Uh, we just hit it once, slight hesitate four times, Okay, then we'll come over and hit the 7 once on the middle C, back to the 4 on the low C, and back to a couple of 7s on the middle C. So it's just kind of a little quick back and forth between the notes. Okay, so just slowly. Alright, and that's essentially like the picking pattern that we want for this whole section. And all we do is we just change this middle C note. We go from the sevens, and now we just make it a five. We keep everything the same. All right. And we work our way down again to where we're, now we're just at fours. So it's pretty simple here. In this section, we, we do it twice. For the harmonics in this break section, uh, we'll come up here, and we're basically hitting a E note, B, C, and then we hit an E, E octave, F. And with this drop C tuning, we can get it here pretty nice. Uh, start at the ninth fret of the low C. All right. And we come down, we hit a nine on the G here, the second string. Okay, And then fifth fret on the middle C. All right. And second section, start with that same nine on the low C for that E. Now we hit the E octave, just at the middle C9 now. All right, and then we come over, hit 5 on the, uh, what was the G string here? Uh, F string now, so a third from the bottom, and just 5th fret. Okay, so kind of like the same spots, we just uh, drop it down a set the second time through. All right, the big pre-chorus section comes in, and this is kind of like a C suspended second chord. Um, basically we just hit that open low C and we're going to hit these octave notes at the uh, 7 on the uh, G string here and the 9 on the F string. Okay. Alright, we're just hitting the open low C with it. And it's just a straight, you know, 8th note strum here. Alright, we go through that, you know, uh, 4 measures worth there or so. And afterwards we start doing this quick little back and forth with the 8 and 10 on that, you know, G and F here string. Okay. 
and we just slide it down to the seven and nine. All right, and it's just just really quick, back and forth to it. Slide it back down, strum it a couple times, and we can keep the open low C with it too. All right, and we go through that four times, and we just land on a couple of F power chords here at the fives on the low C and the G as a quick little couple pickup notes back into the main section. There's a slight addition here with the second break section, and it does all the harmonics and all that fun stuff, but then it also does uh, a little bit where you can do two different sections here. You can either do it behind the nut here where we just hit these strings, kind of leave everything open and keep it just real dissonant crazy. All right. And it probably sounds even better uh, if you strum it behind the bridge. Unfortunately, I got a certain tailpiece here that doesn't let me do it. But uh, uh, yeah, it's, you know, some like Gibson's and Gretsch, you know, those styles with the two different tail stops and the bridge. There's a little section here, and you can just strum that. It sounds good too. Uh, so either way you want to do it, just get that nice dissonant, crazy sound. And once we come around to the chorus, uh, towards the end here, it gets a lot bigger. And basically it's that main riff, but now we can include the, you know, the, the second string, which is now the G string, or usually the A string. Um, but we can include that, just, you know, same fret as the, um, you know, the low C that we're doing, so that we get a big power chord with it. So, you know, basically we hit the fours here, and then we would come over and, you know, include our seven with that. So instead of just doing the single note, now we're keeping it a big power chord. And then we put our sevens on it. All right, and just work it down the same way. Down to the five, to the four. Okay, we just want it to sound bigger right there. Okay, with this interlude section, and it just kind of has these syncopated stops now. And we start here at the fourth fret, you know, for our E power chord. Hit it once, slight hesitation, one, two, three. All right, and then we kind of work down our, you know, our main riff, middle C notes here. Um, this time we just strum them all together. So we hit the fours, and then we include that seven there. Strum it the same way. Okay, cut. Work down to the fives, same deal. And then off to fours. And at the end of this, we do a quick little bend at the uh, second here of the low C. Okay, we're just kind of bending it up to this uh, third fret note here. All right. All right, and we get into interlude some more and we just include some harmonics now. We don't really worry about our middle C note anymore. We're just hitting those power chords at the four. And then we're going to throw our harmonics at the end of it. So we just uh, hit about here at the fives on the C, G, C. Okay. Same deal again, the fours. Come up to the nines for that octave. Back to the fours. And then here we hit the uh, fives at the you know bottom three strings here. Alright, and then back to our fours with the two bend at the end. And at the very final section there, and uh, you know at the fade out, there's this cool little piano riff that happens, and we can get to that pretty easy here. Okay, we come up to the seventh fret on the second string here. Come up to the first string, we go at nine, ten, nine. Land on the ten of the second string. Come back down, hit the nine, ten, nine on the first string and just loop it from there.